Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on my Fender Parts Caster. This guitar I've put in quite a lot of work into, with help from family members and a lot of work myself. Um, today I'm going to tell you about it and I'm also going to give you some sounds and what it sounds like. But firstly, let's do a quick demo. That's what this guitar sounds like. It is definitely a Strat. It's got this beautiful, nice blue pickguard, which I really liked. Um, the back plate is also blue, which you will see. Um, and actually, so I was going to order new pickguards for this guitar online, and it was going to take forever to turn up. I'd already ordered the one thing that I was going to get online already, and I need to make the money to get the next thing. But I ended up just buying some spray paint that sticks onto the plastics, which you can't really tell because I, we did a really good job on it. But if you look at it in different lights, you can see a few scratches and stuff like that. But that's no biggie to me because this guitar is going to be getting scratches anyway. I love it. It's a really nice guitar. Um, another thing that we did was I sanded back all of the varnish on the neck that was on there because it was a satin neck. And I'm a big fan of gloss necks, personally. So we sanded all of that satin finish off of it and then we sprayed it with polyurethane and it came up really, really nice actually. Really comfortable to play, which is really, really good. Another thing we did was we bought, or well, I bought some locking tuners that go on the back. Um, I'll show you. You can see that. Locking tuners. Uh, they're real handy because it just makes it easier to tune up and change strings. Plus... They hold tune better, supposedly, than normal tuners do. I haven't really noticed a difference, but apparently they do. They look much nicer as well. They're better than the um, ones that I did have on it. They're a lot easier to use. Actually, installing this was a bit of a struggle. We had to get a um, Dremel and do all the little holes and stuff. Because it takes a 1mm drill bit to get all the holes screwed in, so that was quite difficult. But we figured it out. Um... And other than that, that is what we've really done to the guitar. Obviously, I've cleaned it all up and I've got the action everything sorted. Um, it's a really nice guitar. And it cost us... I think it actually only cost me $80 to get it from looking... See if I can find some pictures and put them up on the screen. To look in a bit like this. Honestly, I'd recommend it to anyone. Actually, this started off as a Squire. Um, started off as a Squire, but we've done a bit of work to it. I think someday I might change out the pickups. But honestly, they do exactly what I need them to do. People will go on about our Nico pickups, but these are ceramic, and I reckon they sound just as good. Though, I'm sure a Texas Special or something like that, they'd be much nicer. I just don't have the budget to do that at the moment. Other than that, everything else is pretty stock, eh? Uh, bridges are the same because this is bullet strat, so like you can't buy new bridges, they're all too thick. But this one's still in here and it does a perfectly fine job. And um, obviously, volume, tone, all of that. This is some more stuff on it. Um, but I like to name my guitars, and I haven't thought of a name for this one, so if any of you guys think of one, then I'll name it like that. Uh, thank you very, very, very much for watching. I definitely recommend getting a parts caster for anyone. Even just starting off with a pretty cheap Squire and trying to upgrade it to something that you really like to play, that's always good. Um, and it's a nice thing to do, and it's a fun project as well. And this has definitely made me want to build a guitar, so hopefully at some point I can do that. Stay tuned for another video, and if you want to check out any of my past videos, they will be on my YouTube channel. Um, and yeah, have a great day. Oh, 
and I'm going to say that real cliche thing that all of the YouTubers say. Um, click the l little like button thing and then smash the subscribe button out of the park.